G'day guys, welcome to the car tour video. In this term for big picture, I decided to do a project car as I got my license this term. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna run you through all the parts I put in it this term. Uh, we'll start from the front, work away to the back, and then we'll have a look under the hood. And um, yeah, let's get it going. Starting off at the front, we've got the spotties. Now I've got new spotty covers for these ones. The old ones were a bit yellowy, um, so I just got some cheap plastic ones. They do the trick. These spotties are absolutely amazing. Um, they literally light up the night like it's day, and it, they're just they're just so good. So super keen to have those on. So moving around, we got the UHF. I uh, put that on a, not too long ago actually. It's probably the newest thing I got on. Um, it was good just to get one finally, just to be able to communicate with everyone. And I think it looks uh, a bit nicer than just having nothing on the ball bar. Also got two new tyres this term. I uh, put them on the front and then I swapped the old front ones to the back. Um, so yeah, some freshies on there. That was good. I got that pretty early on. That was one of the first things I did, so. Moving around to the back, we've got the tray. Now the tray is hands down one of the best things about this car. It's absolutely huge. Fits so much stuff in here. We've got the toolbox in there. Um, and it is massive. I can easily fit a double swag in here easily. Um, it's just so good to have that bit of space. Um, and yeah, the only downside about it is probably because it's only single cab, it's only got the one seat. Um, but the train makes up for it and it's definitely top three favorite thing about this car for sure. Moving around to the back, I haven't done a whole lot, uh, except for a few new reverse lights uh, and just some little mods there. Uh, installing a um, tow ball as well, so able to tow some things. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the outside. Uh, I reckon we move on to the inside, and we'll uh, have a bit of a look in there. So this is the interior. This is where most of the work's been done. I've done heaps in here, so that, that should start from left to right, really. One of the first things I did on the interior is the LED strip lights. Uh, I put them on cheap as we came out. Just like it just adds that little bit of a touch to it. And um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good, really, for how cheap and um, easy they were to put in. Um, they're so effective. They're really bright as well. So, you know, when you're parked up um, at night or sunset or whatnot, just flick them on and um, yeah, they'll shine real nice and bright. I got a new interior light. Um, the other one was dodgy, so we just replaced that. Uh, moving down to the UHF. Now, this is the main kind of big component that we popped in. Um, this took an absolute while to get in. It was just a um, just a hard space to work into, so we had to pull apart the whole dash and uh, properly screw the unit in there and, and find the right spot for the two way to actually go. So yeah, we got some new seat covers now. These weren't the original seat covers that I had on it. Uh, these are the ones underneath actually, but these ones look way better than the ones I had on before. I still plan on to get some uh, newer and better ones, uh, but for now these are just pretty simple and um, yeah, they look good with the black and they match all the interior and uh, yeah, it looks real nice. So we had to get a new diverter for the aircon. Pretty much what happened is it would be flat out or nothing on the aircon. So what we had to do, we had to buy a new diverter uh, so we could pop that in so I was able to get uh, one, two and three instead of just having it on flat out all the time. And yeah, that's about it for the interior. The interior and underneath go hand in hand. I've done the most work inside the actual car and inside the engine a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, have a look under the hood. Now that I'm under the hood, I'll, I'll run you guys through a bit of the things that I did under here this term. So. Uh, I did a lot of stuff under here through Motor Springs Motors. Uh, they're one of the sh a few shutter days that I went on earlier in the term. Uh, we started off by pulling out all the spark plugs. Um, there was an issue previously where it would shutter at low revs. We thought it was another component, but we uh, turned out just to be a spark plug. So we gave them all a change and uh, yeah, it's gone better than ever. Moving on, we did the air filter, a new one of them just to get some cleaner air through it. Also got a new fuel filter, uh, it was pretty easy to swap out. Uh, it was just another thing that, just basic maintenance that I wanted to do. And then we also did an oil change as well, not that long ago, just before I got my license. I knew I was going to be driving it a lot when I did get it. Uh, so we just wanted to make sure the oil was all good, had a fresh new filter on it uh, for when I did get it. I also got a new water pump and some new belts, that was the most recent thing done to it. 
The radiator was leaking a little bit, so we just replaced the water pump and uh, we chucked in some new belts as well because the old ones were a bit cracked up. That's really it for the engine. Um, I'll be getting a new battery as that's getting a bit low and I'll be replacing the windshield as that's got a bit of a crack in it. For future plans, what I want to do with it, I'm not too sure yet. A turbo or a supercharger would be the dream, uh, obviously, but um, we'll just see how we go with that. We're looking at a snorkel and the airbox is in a perfect spot. I just need to find a good place to mount it to on the car um, and we can get that ball rolling as well. Apart from that, guys, that's about it. Um, cheers for watching and uh, let's continue on.